Hi, Stephen here from Inexterious Painters and Decorators and you're watching Inexterious TV. In this video we're going to be filling and painting lining paper. If you would like to purchase some of the similar tools that I use for this task please feel free to check out on the links in the description below and also if you're planning on doing any other decorating work please feel free to visit my tool store. The links are also in the description below. So with that said Let's do this! The tools and materials for this task is a filling knife, cork board, Jitbrog Easy Fill 60, worn down 80 grade sandpaper or 180 grade sandpaper, paintbrush, paint kettle, dust brush, roller pole, roller, roller bucket, cork and cork gun. This is the wall that's been lined that we're going to be filling and painting. Let me give you a close up of the joints that we're going to be filling. So with my filling knife, cork board and Jitbrock Easy Fill 60 I set about giving this a fill. This is the first of two fills that I give it. Remember to always fill cleanly. Let me just give you a quick recap of what the room looked like before. This is before it was stripped. This is when we stripped it with no sanding or filling. And this was after we sanded filled and sized to get it ready for lining. If you'd like to know how I sand, filled and sized this wall or cross line this wall or even how to mix Jip Roll Easy Fill 60, the videos will pop up at the end of this video on an end screen. Now it's ready for its second fill, but I've not had to sand it down in between because the first time round I filled it cleanly, so I'm able just to fill it again without sanding it. I'm only going to show second filling it on the first two joins, I'm not going to film all of it for the second time round. Here's what some of the other areas in the room looked like when it was filled. Now we need to cork these gaps.
this cork's a little bit thinner or runnier than the cork that I normally use, so I'm just having to be that little bit more careful with it. Once everything's all dry, you can give it a sand down. And for this, I'm using worn down, very worn down, 80 grade sandpaper. But you can also use 180 grade sandpaper. And as long as you fill it cleanly, you won't scuff the paper. So you've only literally got to lightly sand over it. And before you do sand, make sure the cork is dry. So I've left this overnight to dry so we know there's no filler dust getting on the wet cork. I'm also giving it a dust off as we go along as well. If you would like to purchase some of the similar tools that I use for this task, please feel free to check out the links in the description below. And also, please feel free to visit my tool store. The link is also in the description below. Now we've filled, sanded and dusted it, it's ready for painting. So with a combination of my paintbrush and roller I'll start getting it painted. This is the first of two coats. First of all I start by doing all the cutting in. You'll probably find that when you painted it and you've left it for a little while it'll start to bubble here and there but don't worry it should dry back. Also, you'll get the odd join that might need sticking back here and there as well. But remember, it's progress, not perfection, and nothing is perfect.
now we've got it all cut in, we're ready to roll it. Let me again just remind you of what it all looked like before. Here's what this wall looks like now after two coats. And here's what the rest of the room looks like. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can get notified of when I release my next video. Remember, it is free. Also, if you want to leave a comment in the comment section, please do so because that's how we all learn and grow. Thank you very much for watching and take care.